hello guys and welcome back to dark horse fm and today well we're taking a break from tactic videos and well this video might actually turn out to be a tactic video but we're going on a bizarre journey to manage san marino and probably take them to the world cup in qatar 2020 but maybe that's going too far but the objective today is to manage san marino and see how they do in football manager 2022 it's to me it's probably one of the toughest challenges you might find in fm it's um hardly do i play international management anyway but today we're going to look for something really really challenging and i'm going to test san marino using iconic tactics that people have already posted especially nap tactics and the others that have shown themselves to be successful so i'm going to test those tactics with san marino and then see how far they go if they eventually make it to if they eventually make it to the world cup anyway but i'm going to see how san marino works and here they are little san marino they struggled in recent in recent years in fact they've struggled throughout football so i noticed trying going on a on an adventure with san marino is probably something that i've been thinking about for a while now and something i want to try so i'm going to see how it goes so guys if you have no idea about san marino they are a footballing nation as well but most teams have recorded their biggest victories in history against san marino so the squad are not all professional footballers per se so i think most of them are and few of them are just maybe farmers and doctors they're good at other things besides playing football but they enjoy their time when they are when they are facing professional nations footballing nations from across the globe so the biggest defeats that they face against all these other teams like they recently lost to england 10 nil in the World Cup qualifiers but they didn't seem faced by it in any way they, it just looks like they enjoy playing football just for the fun of it really but to be honest they are good at many other things as well so this this journey that i'm going with san marino is something that i've been thinking about for a while now i want to actually see how well tactics work in this game and then if most of what we play is probably if most of our victories are tactically influenced let me say so if a tactic that has been successful in the past in fm22 works out for San Marino then we know just how good that tactic is but the objective basically is to manage San Marino and see just how bad it is or just how difficult the challenge might be. We can see in this national team history that San Marino are the lowest ranked nation they are the lowest ranked footballing nation in the oh no they're not Anguilla. Anguilla there's another country worse than San Marino wow Anyway, the lowest world ranking is 210, so that's San Marino, and then anybody beneath 210 is probably not considered a footballing nation. So San Marino, they're the least country in the world. They've, they've had a position of 118th at some point, but that's well, they are actually a very weak nation in a weak footballing nation. So trying to increase this rating perhaps and then push San Marino as far as possible using any means necessary tactically change the tactics rooting out the players that need to be improved i know for managing national teams you can't really, you don't really have a facility per se that you can use to improve your players so it's just going to be have to be uh, it's just going to have to be observing san marino players and see the regions that come up if they actually get to generate new regions for san marino we're just going to see how the game turns out in the next few seasons or well, we're going to start small by just managing one game or two this challenge seems damn near impossible so it's kind of interesting to just mess with my football manager a bit my fm22 rather so just to see how the game goes that's the plan i guess just to have some fun go on a challenge that normally i wouldn't be doing so play international international save is not really something i'm always jumping into but then having to do with san marino okay that might be quite interesting so we're just going to see how it moves i'm going to be using everything in the book you know to try and get this san marino team to play or to win games as their our first match is going to be against poland so it's interesting to see how how that's going to turn out we'll have a game against poland in the world european qualifying so we're also going to try to do well in our qualifying stages to improve our rating so i'm going to use everything i know in the book that works in fm22 match engines to try and, to try and get the best result out of san marino so that's going to include set piece routines match engine workarounds to see how far san marino can go and with that being said let me know if that is, you can let me know in the comment section if there is any tactics that i can use to boost san marino's chances of winning games if there are set piece routines that you have you can let me know in the comment section and then i'll check the link 
for these set pieces and download them just i remember that there's the virgil van dyke set pieces that was released by fm scout a few week a few weeks ago before the game came out but i know it didn't really work for me for the first few few attempts so i had to make some tweaks to it before it started working but i'm going to i'm going to attach that to san marino i'm going to attach everything possible that they need to win that's going to include all the tactics that i've ever come across i know i have the i'm going to use this vc mod attack tactic i created it for my counter attacking save there's a team i was using that i needed to defend really really well but something on paper i'm going to use is naps mad as a hatter tactic i saw this recently that it had a lot of goals so i'm going to include this for san marino it had a, it has a really weird shape but there's a lot of attacking players so we're going to see how san marino does with this tactic as well also guys don't forget to subscribe and wish me luck i'm going to meet poland very soon and then i'll let you know how the poland game goes or we can watch it together as this video goes along we're going to see how san marino play against poland and depending on when the game is there are 58 game 58 days to go so we're going to see in those 58 days how we can improve this team or get them playing in a certain way to have you know to have a chance of qualifying for any international competitions so guys that's the summary of it and i'll catch you guys much later so we have our squad in and then we have a fullback here to see Alessandro Tossi. He's a left footed player, so I might want to have him on this other side. Let's check Manuel Bastinini. Manuel Bas Battistini. He is a left footed player as well, so he can actually play here. But Tossi should be on this other side. So we're going to check if we have a left back or a right back that can fill in for Tossi in this position. Looking at Bastini here, Michael Bastini is a left footed player as well. He's the player that it's how many Michael Bastini do I have? Are there two? Manuel and Michael Bastini. I think they're brothers. Oh, such a close knit group. It's going to be fun working with San Marino, so let's just see how everything goes. I think we're doing quite well. We're just keeping the ball in our space, trying to not give away too much to Poland. And this is we're playing dangerous football in our back line. Oh, there is a chance. There is a chance saved by Chesney. So guys, it turns out my first game against Poland turned out like I expected. We okay, we didn't concede up to ten goals, but five nil well, it looked it looked alright. But we started well. The problem was I started with a positive mentality. So we were basically non existent defensively and that gave Lewandowski and Poland a lot of chances to get at us. And once they scored two goals, it was basically game over from there and then it became three and then three became four very soon but as i switched to a defensive mentality we managed i think we only considered one goal afterwards so that's something i'm going to consider moving forward to try and play with San Marino using a defensive mentality but so far so good we didn't do quite well against poland like i expected but um, to my knowledge we didn't concede as many goals that i thought we were going to concede but we're going to continue this San Marino journey to the world cup and then we'll see how everything goes but guys that's the summary of today's checkup on San Marino. that's from our summary of today's video you can slap a like on it if you enjoyed this video so far i make content like this for lower league teams weak teams that's why it's called dark horse fm i enjoyed creating bringing smaller teams to glory anyway so you can subscribe to the channel as well and let me know in the comment section if there are other tactics that you use in football manager that i can attach to San Marino and help them to qualify for the qatar world cup regardless of anywhere we go that's right we're going to try our best to get the best result with san marino so guys i'll catch you guys in the next video